BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. She's gone. We knew that was coming, but it's still quite shocking, isn't it? May she rest in peace, man. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. Oh. Oh, that's so nice to hear, isn't it? That's how we all want to go, peacefully. Balmoral was her most favourite castle, you know. Mm. She didn't really like Buckingham Palace, the Queen. Well, it's not up to much, is it? You know, what is it, 40 bedrooms or something? The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening. <gasps> the King, meaning Prince Charles, Mary. Yeah. Oh, that just doesn't even sound right. And will return to London tomorrow. He's got some shoes to fill, hasn't he? You have to get used to not saying Prince Charles, King Charles. King Charles III and Queen Consort. 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 BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme, reporting the death of Her Majesty the Queen. I just can't believe it. Mm. I'm just in disbelief. She's been around for so long, it didn't even cross my mind that she would day, pass yeah. away. She wouldn't be there. It was almost as if she was going to live forever. Yeah. She said, when she first took over, she said, be it a long reign or a short reign, she would wait till the end. And she, that's what she did. She has. Steady. <laughs> Steady. Do you know, like, we used to have pictures like that in our school when we was little. Got goosebumps. Oh, you have. End of an era, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it strange how emotional you can get over someone you've never met? <laughs> The death of Her Majesty brings to an end the longest reign in British history, spanning eight decades of immense change. That is incredible, isn't it? Eight decades. I'm not particularly a royalist, but I do respect what she did. She's the country's queen, but she's still somebody's mother, grandmother, great-grandmother. Mm. And that's the lot who I feel sorry for, okay, man. Yeah, totally. I sympathy, have sympathy for. Mm -hmm. Throughout that time, Her Majesty was the one constant presence in public life, a head of state who personified stability and reassurance. I really question whether or not the monarchy would be as important as it is today if it wasn't yeah. her oh, cousin. Absolutely not, yeah. yeah. Her life had been dedicated to the service of the people. Look at that. I feel like that is one of my favourite pictures of the Queen. Yeah, when the she was first crowned. At a coronation, yeah. What's the royal family going to be like now? The Queen's not here. Well, yeah, she was the glue that held it all together, wasn't she? Well, she's the matriarch, wasn't she? She was the boss. Mm. The Dom. And her reign was characterised by a steadfast sense of duty. You think about the time towards the end of her reign as well. Like, the the most powerful speech to me out of anyone during COVID was hers. Yeah, yeah, I think so, mm. yeah. It's somebody you wanted to see, somebody mm. you wanted to hear. None of the, like, politicians yeah. or prime ministers. Elizabeth was just 25 when she came to the throne in 1952. Bro, she was literally my age when she came into the throne. Like, imagine becoming queen at that age. Like, that's mental. She never got no family life or anything because then she became queen. She was too busy looking after us. A reign marked above all else by a sense of service to others. A reign unlike any other in the long history of Britain. A lot of people loved her. Mom, I feel sad. Really. I feel so sad. At least we've got that memory of the time we went to the garden party at Buckingham Palace 
And I took a picture of you in the Queen photobombed you. That is an amazing photo. I know, we had that up in the loo at work for ages, didn't we? We yeah. should put it back. We will. Charles has to behave himself. Yeah. You know, because some of the things, he's quite opinionated. He can't, he can't, he can't be outspoken, no. He can't, he can't speak anymore yeah. on his... I know, like, he is a naturist. Yeah. Oh, no, is that... Oh, that's not... No, I don't mean a naturist. <laughs> this is the problem, we don't have a role model now. There's nobody of that stature that in our public life that we can keep up, admire. King Charles, Mary. Yes, a female role model I was thinking of. A female role yes, model? Yes, we need a female role model. I mean, who else is there? No one. I mean, she's incompar incomparable. <laughs> but we had... 96 What years. What about Mary Berry? Oh, Giles.